Hey y'all, it's Sharon with Hosting God's Presence. This is episode 39 and it's entitled, Glory Shall Rise Upon Us. You know, I want to thank you for uh, tuning in for the last six weeks to this seven-week special podcast between Passover and Pentecost. This year, this is my eighth year of doing a 50-day podcast between Passover and Pentecost. This is a special time in Scripture that, that's talked about in Leviticus, and Jesus also participated in it, actually after his resurrection. Um, he went and talked to the disciples, and he spent 40 days with them, teaching them about the kingdom of God. These 50 days are very significant in the Scriptures. It's, time, it's a time where we can come uh, closer to the Lord, g- gain revelation for our time and how we are to be used by the Lord in this hour. You know, the world is in need of a savior and that savior is Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And it says in Romans that how are people going to hear the good news of the gospel if they do not have someone to share it with them? Well, friends, that someone is you and I, because we carry the glory of God. We carry the message of the good news of Jesus Christ. And so we are the agents that God wants to use in the earth realm to spread his good news and to bring sons and daughters into his kingdom. So that's what this seven week series is about. A uh, seven week podcast is helping you and I come to understand that we are, we have solutions for the world because we have Jesus within us. This week we're, we're, we're learning about how the glory of God is the manifest presence of God. And, and the glory of God in the scriptures was tangible. It had weight You can see it. You can feel it. Matter of fact, often in the Old Testament, as is today, the glory of God manifests in your midst as a cloud or a mist. Sometimes you can feel the glory of God and you you can see like a, looks like a cloud in the room or like you can almost feel like a mist. And that, that, that's a representation. That's actually a manifestation of God's glory. We saw that God's glory is accompanied by angels and that God's glory moves from place to place. Matter of fact, the glory of God actually led the children of Israel. It guided them by a cloud and by a fire. And it said it was the glory of God. We saw how Moses said multiple times and Joshua and others where the glory of God would come in on the tent of meeting and Aaron and they would physically be there'd be so much weight that would come with the glory that they couldn't stand to minister. We see that throughout the old covenant. And so it's important for us to understand that now in our day, in the day of Christ being the coming to earth and, you know, being our savior and and being the Messiah. Now that he has ascended on high, he wants us, he's called us to be his representatives here on earth. So what took place in the Old Covenant, what took place in the New Covenant, that's the Old Testament and the New Testament that's in the Bible, we're supposed to walk in those things. And so this scripture today that we're going to look at is one of my favorite passages of scripture in Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 6. And it tells us how the glory of God is to rise upon the people of God. And the first verse starts out, arise from spiritual depression to a new life. Shine, be radiant with the glory and brilliance of the Lord, for your light has come. You see, because Jesus lives in us and he is the light of the world, therefore light has come to us. Now we can get out of our spiritual depression 
We can get out of our places of despair. We can stop looking at ourselves and our situations around us and let the light of God, the glory of God shine from us to help other people navigate their life. You know, even if you and I have issues going on in our life and friends, let's be honest, who doesn't have something happening in their life, right? Either with your, you know, your family, your children, your job, your, your finances, you know, we have a car that needs to be repaired right now, you know, and it's very costly to repair. And, you know, so there's situations that come up in our lives that could, that could cause our focus to get off of God being the solution, God being the answer. And we are the answer to people because we have Christ within us. We have answers, even though we sometimes don't even know what the answers are for ourselves. But as we lean in to him and we realize that, you know what? It's not about us. It's not about our situation. It's not about whether we got it all together or not. It's about Christ living in us. It's about his glory manifesting upon us and the light of God being released from us to help others see through the darkness. Arise from your spiritual depression to new life. Shine, be radiant with the glory and brilliance of the Lord for your light has come. And the glory, verse two says, and the brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. It's not, it's going to, it has already because Christ is in you. For behold, darkness will cover the earth and deep darkness the people. Friends, we're in this time. There is darkness covering the earth, deep darkness over the people. People do are seeing and doing strange things right now. For the Lord will rise upon you. But, it says, but the Lord will arise upon you. In the midst of darkness, in the midst of people being wacky, God's glory will rise upon us. It says it will appear upon you. The nations will come to your light. Kings to the brightness of your rising. Rise your eyes all around and see. They will gather. They will come to you. Your sons will come from afar and your daughters will be carried on their hip. Friends, this is saying that because of the glory of God that's upon us and the Christ is within us, people can be drawn to us and they will be drawn to us because they see the light. They see and experience the glory when they're within us, when they're in our midst. So they don't understand what's going on. But I've been teaching you that you carry a presence, the presence of God. You carry the glory of God and people are interested in being around you. And it's our responsibility then to share the good news with them. Because it says they will see and be radiant and your heart will thrill and rejoice. The people will see that our radiance that we carry because of the presence of God. Remember, is Exodus 33, the presence of God, the glory of God distinguishes us from everyone else. And it says wealth of the nations will come to us and that we are to proclaim the good news and the praises of God. Remember one of the meanings of the word glory, the Hebrew word is kabod, and it literally means weight, but it also has to do with abundance and wealth. Glory and wealth go hand in hand. So God wants us to experience his glory so that we can also experience his abundance and his wealth for our life. We are to proclaim his good news. Friends, I want to encourage you to seek after God this last week and a half. Press into him. Call out to him. Yahweh, we wait here in your presence right now. We invite you. We invite you, Elohim. We want to see you face to face. We want to be host of your presence. We want to be glory carriers. We ask for the glory of God to rest upon us and to rise upon us so that we can show forth your light in our world. 
Yahweh, manifest yourself in our midst. We ask for this. In Yeshua's name, we want to carry your glory. We want to be a light in the midst of a darkness. We want to show your goodness and your kindness and your love to the world. So we ask that your glory would rise upon us even this hour. Our song today is In the Midst by Evergreen Worship. You can listen to it on our playlist on the YouTube channel, Be Authentically You. Don't forget to subscribe to Hosting God's Presence. Be a part of our mailing list. We're going to send out weekly encouraging words as well as updates about our upcoming podcast and courses and products. Uh, and you will receive a free gift when you sign up. Don't forget to check out our bio. Hey, you all have a great day. Blessings to you. Bye-bye.